after activity on the markets was jolted uh, by East African breweries and Barclays on Mondays with equity turnover for the day rising by 222 percent. We saw yesterday turnover falling back again, but East African breweries and Equity Bank, the outside uh, traders there, what are you making of this recent market activity that's seeing such fluctuations in a turnover? What we're seeing is uh, these are very, bids are very high. We are looking at bids of uh, around 90, 90, 93%. And uh, people are not uh, ready to sell at the prices that are currently on the market. So what has really happened is that investors are not uh, willing to sell at um, uh, depressed prices at the moment. And then uh, again, if you look at uh, the fact that we've just come out of the Kenjian bond, which took a lot of the liquidity in the market, and now everybody has just realized the Safaricom one is mm -hmm. around the corner. And uh, so everybody is also looking at whether that is another option. Yesterday we saw um, about 63% of the market activity being locally driven, which means uh, locals for a moment there did look back at the equities market. But if you look at the difference between uh, the last, last year, the first nine months, and uh, this year, the first nine months, you'll see that um, as opposed to about 51% which was done in market activity, which was in equities. This year we are seeing about 83% in bonds and the other, the, the other 17% in equities, which really goes to show that we are in a fixed income market this year as we had predicted. Well, of course, uh, as you say, it's the local investment community that has really diverted attention towards the fixed income side of things. With that being the case, how much of a reliance is there on foreign investor appetite right now? Foreign investors have ran most of the activity on the equities market for the last three or four months, um, probably even longer than that. But I think what they are seeing is that uh, the market is depressed and uh, the fact that uh, they are being able to pick out stocks at low prices mm -hmm. means that they will, in the long run they will gain when the stock, when equities begin to recover, um, say towards the end of next year. Um, but this, of course, is for those people who have enough um, funds to hold on to the equities when they are at a low and uh, those who have models that show them that they are definitely going to go up eventually. Um, locals, on the other hand, are seeing a new avenue, a new frontier for investment. We haven't seen that much local activity in the bond market ever. And so the thing is, um, this new frontier has seen a huge uptake, which is very good because it means that uh, we are going to see increased depth in fixed income. And hopefully with the bond, Kenjian bond, which is going to be traded on the NSE, we are going to see a new um, avenue or new activity on the market. Samuel, what's interesting is that it's in this context that we've seen a report out in Business Daily it suggests that shareholders of Family Bank have approved plans to raise the capital base through a rights issue. We've got the 7,000 shareholders initially seeing their shares split by two and a half times, setting the stage uh, for absorption of rights, which would have been expensive without the split. And uh, this, many saying, uh, a way for Family Bank to actually position itself for a public listing, which is expected early next year. What have you made of that move and that announcement in this current context that you've just outlined? Well, Family Bank has uh, two things that they have to look at. One of them is uh, core capital because um, banks' core capital was raised to one billion, and so in the banking sector, we do expect to see a lot of M and A. We, we do expect banks to start looking for capital either from the boss or from different avenues over the next uh, few months as they prepare for the deadline um, when they should have this one billion uh, um, base capital. Um, on top of that, of course, preparation for for them to go onto the market is another another reason why they're going to the market to try out going to their shareholders. The thing with Family Bank, they have a model very similar to that of equity. And so they see that um, their shareholders will be ready to take up um, rights rather than going for bond, a bond or um, commercial paper. And so they have dis opted to go that way. Um, but we don't expect many companies right now to be looking 
um, on the side of equities as a way of raising money, but rather we are seeing more companies looking towards fixed income as the, more, the, the, the method of choice for now as investors seem to be taking that up more than equities. Well, uh, as you say, it's certainly because of that uh, raising of the core capital base that we've seen initiatives unfold in terms of banks trying to raise uh, capital in this market. We've got uh, strong players, though, the big caps like Barclays Bank and Standard Chartered, both announcing new strategies. One, uh, Barclays Bank extending its opening hours in order to attract more customers its way, while Standard Chartered has set its uh, uh, sights on SMEs in the market as a new way to actually grow its loan book. Uh, we haven't spoken about the banking sector in a while. Just looking at what's uh, occurring right now, are there any interesting uh, developments in the banking sector that investors should be aware of right now? Well, the banking sector is actually in a phase of, uh, you, you know, it's evolving now into a very modernized sector. We are starting to see the concept of uh, banking supermarkets, of financial supermarkets, where a bank is trying, all, all our banks are now going towards the direction of being able to offer everything under one, one roof. So we have seen increase in uh, opening hours. We've seen uh, banks going after SMEs, after the equity model showed that it's really working. And uh, the thing is, uh, we do expect that as we go forward, that the banking sector in Kenya is definitely going to be um, the leading uh, sector in the region, especially with Eastern Central Africa, the fact that they've also done a lot of expansion in the region. So I think uh, right now what we are looking at is every bank is looking to, to do the other in you know, coming up yeah. with new things and coming up with ideas that will put them um, at a better uh, strategic position than their peers.